Welcome back to the My Player Save. Things are going swimmingly in the Premier League. We bagged four in the Carabao Cup in one game yesterday. Uh, but the Champions League didn't start great with a 1-0 defeat against Bayern. But we have the chance to rectify that. It was a very good Bayern side, to be fair. We have the chance to rectify that with a game against one of our former sides, in fact. PSV from the Netherlands are our second opponent today. We start with a trip to Stamford Bridge, which isn't going to be easy in and of itself. Then it's PSV at home, and then it's Brentford at home. And fingers crossed, Purcell's in a good position in the Champions League group and continue what so far has been a 100% winning start. 12 goals scored, two goals conceded. Now that I've bigged that up, watch us now lose this by three or four goals to nil. Uh, Maya Tua, Kanate, Lenormand, White, James, Havertz, Scott, Gonzalez, Flavitz, Kukurea is a strong Chelsea starting lineup. Asim Hen is in on the left which has moved Anthony to the right, and Adiello having to settle for a spot on the bench for the time being. But we're as strong as we could possibly get at the moment. And hopefully in January, we might sign a centre mid. That would be nice. Whether they start or not, we'll wait and see. A higher rated centre back rather than Duarte would be also pretty good. But Duarte is pretty solid. So I can't complain too much about our defensive performance so far, can I, given the nature of that league record that I've just shown you. Two goals conceded in five games. Something's working. And maybe we'd be foolish to try and change it a bit. As the liquidator plays around Stamford Bridge, we walk out. And three passes in the opponent's half. Boosted to five is what we'll do. Actually, no, I want a Maverick one. There we go. We'll do the Maverick one. Whether I get it or not, I'm not sure. But we'll go for the Maverick one to get the extra personality points. And hopefully, we can have four shots on target here. We're trying to turn the, the personality points a little bit more in the Maverick's favour. To give us a bit of a, a boost to our pace and sprint speed. That way, we should be perhaps even more influential than we already are. We're already one of, if not the best goal scorer in all of Europe. But there's no harm in making yourself even better at any given moment. Things might start off, however, horribly and can only get better from here. If Reece James buries his free kick, which he hasn't done, we'll stay at nil-nil. It's a very young-looking Graham Potter. He doesn't look quite so fresh and clean-shaven now, does he? Bit shaggy-haired and grey-bearded at the moment with how things are going at Chelsea in real life. And they're not going very well for them here in this save either. They're eighth so far in this Premier League season. And hopefully they won't be getting any higher after this result either. Marisi. Oh, that's terrible. Give him straight away. Flavic, Gonzalez, Flavic. Gap not found. I seem him quickly to me. Victor's going to go. Ah, and I was going to play him in. But then Kai Havertz had other ideas. He just arrived and bumped me off it. And now they're in. And, well, Flavis doesn't miss chances like that. It is annoyingly common that whenever I give the ball away, we end up conceding a goal. Although that is a hell of a finish. Uh, that might be my fault, actually. <laughs> Sorry, lads. Flavic's third goal in six games. We've only scored two in the Premier League ourselves, actually, I think. A lot of the goals have been scored by the rest of the team, which is pleasing, actually. We don't want to solely rely on just me to score the goals. And thankfully, we haven't been solely relying on just me to score the goals. Eric Garcia to me. Oh, Jesus Christ. Kai Havertz just makes a beeline for me every time that I'm in possession. Seems like he sprinted halfway across the pitch there just to come and put a foot in. Cost us a goal last time he did that. Reese James coming forward. Parisi intercepts. Maybe we can cost them a goal. I'll look for Andreas Sheldrup. Quickly on there to Tim. Tim to Anthony. And oh, Chess, stop ball watching, mate. Get yourself on bloody side. Here's Buckley in the box. Logan Buckley from right back. Scores a brilliant goal. Yes, Logan. The Kyle Walker regen equalises for Manchester United against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. And we are right back in this game. I was definitely ball watching. A good 10 yards offside. And well... The fullback took full advantage. We're going to take this one short. Then it's going to come in. We are going to get rid of it. I'll call for this. Parisi couldn't quite aim it as well as he might have liked. Sheldrick's played that to me nicely, though. Go again, Andreas. Go again, Andreas. Go again, Andreas. I'm trying to hold the ball up here so I can find a seaman down the line. Done that very well indeed. I'm going to try and get forward. Victor, not going to get to that. And I failed the man. I might get booked for that, actually. I will get booked for that. Just trying to stick a toe out to get to it. Ben White's asking why I wasn't sent for that. I think you need to calm down. It's not a red card, but it is certainly a yellow. 
on. If you, you've got the bettering of Ben Chilwell, surely. Actually, he's done well there. And this could end up in a good position. Looking for me here. I'm going to try and nod this down to a teammate. Done well. McTominay looking for a seam hen. Can't be found. Not the best of clearances from the goalkeeper, though. And oh, I can't get away from the defender. Having an absolute shitter, for lack of a better phrase. 5.7 so far, personally. And, uh, ooh, not doing that well. However, could get an assist here. Shoot, Andreas. Oh, my God. Please shoot, Andreas. Oh, could have been in front. I could have gotten an assist, and that would have helped my match rating. Could yet get a goal, maybe. Or maybe an assist still. He's past that, Andreas. Anthony. Asim Hen. Shoot! Yes! Manchester United 2. Chelsea 1. Maybe yet the winning streak might continue. Could be 6 from 6. Kulisevsky inside to Chilwell again. Havertz to Gonzalez. I think they changed formation, Chelsea, here. Because Chilwell's pushed a long way forward. And it's Gonzalez on this left-hand side now. Rather than... Uh, the man that's come on for the guy that was in that position. It was Kukurea playing left wing for them. Gonzalez on the right. And Kulisevsky came on. But it looks like Kulisevsky's playing behind Chilwell at the minute. Or Gonzalez, behind Gonzalez, sorry, on the other side of the... Oh, I've left the defender for dead. Oh, please. Let's go. It just said at the top right, chance or risk of being subbed out. No, you don't, Eric Ten Hag. 3-1 Manchester United. It will be six wins from six in the Premier League. We are flying right now. My voice, however, is on its way. <laughs> tumbling down. Oh, dear. It's given away. Somebody does really well. I'll look for a seam in here. Oh, Chessy boy. That is poor. Sheldrop, a seam in. He'll look for me. And we're smacking everyone at the minute. We scored five against West Brom yesterday. We scored four against Chelsea today. What a start to today's episode. I was frustrated at myself for giving the ball away, but I've only gone and scored another bloody goal on the back of it. Chelsea, four. Manchester United, sorry. Chelsea, one. Manchester United, four. Uh, yes, Manchester City are sticking with us thus far, but this is a hell of a start to the Premier League season. It's exactly what we hoped for when we decided, or you guys decided, you wanted me to stay here at the club. I could get another bloody hat-trick. Anthony into me. The defender's left me alone. Go on, Victor. Five! Another assist for me. Two goals, two assists. Manchester United, five! Chelsea won. Deary me, we are unstoppable at the minute. Apart from Bayern. Madueke. On for Chelsea here. Intriguing that that transfer has happened in this save prior to it happening in real life. We created this save before Madueke was a Chelsea player. Of course, we played with him at PSV. So that's a, a transfer that's just gone through IR, uh, in this game, sorry, as well as IRL. Oh, Anthony nearly made it six. Brilliant volley. Sheldrop off Ahmad Diallo now. What did I need match raising wise? The 8.5 that I'm currently on. I need two shots on target to get the extra personality points. And with only five minutes to go, don't think I'm going to have the opportunity to do that, unfortunately. But ultimately, at the minute, we're all about the team. And the team is smashing it here at Stamford Bridge. Diallo looks for me again. There's another shot on target. Maybe we can get the... Four we want. Maya with the save. Decent effort, that. Well stopped, however. Corner comes my way. I'm not going to win the header. And, well, Havertz does very well. Still, though, there's time. Not necessarily for a goal, but come on. Give me the opportunity to have one more shot on target, please. Oh, McTominay with a little dummy there. And then does take advantage of it. Oh, no. Tackled. Oh, one back. Diallo, play me, play me, play me, play me. Please, Ches. Oh, no, leaves it a shot on target. It's another bloody hat-trick. Ole! 6-1 at Stamford Bridge. Unreal. I haven't changed anything setting-wise. We're just on fire at the minute. This is insane. The best form we've had at any club since we were in Denmark, I think, in Season 2. Manchester United, 6. Chelsea won a demolition job at Stamford Bridge as it's tumbling down.
Another match ball in our career. Christ knows how many of those we've had so far. What I could have done, what I should have done, is kept a spreadsheet of my career so we could check back and see what happened in what game. That's maybe something I could do for a, a latter my player, or maybe not, because the next my player, say, if we do if we do another one on 23, we'll probably be in a centre mid or winger position. Maybe on 24, if we do my player on 24, I can keep a spreadsheet and we can really keep tabs on everything that's happened in my in my career and keep track of international goals, how goals are scored, etc, etc. That'd be fantastic, actually. I'd love to do that. It's definitely something I think I'm... Poor manager performance! Come on, game. Sort your life out. Unbelievable. Seven, six wins from six or seven wins from seven in the Premier League. And it's on about poor managerial performance. Piss off. Right, up next was PSV in the Champions League. And we will reach level 34 today. We will be a 90 rated player today, provided we can find the right attributes to boost to get us there. In fact, if I train now, make myself 90 rated before we play PSV. Might even do it just the one training session. We have four skill points available and set piece specialist perk unlocked. Ooh, I do like a set piece specialist. The question is, would I take anything I currently have in there out? First time shot, I don't really need. Increases your finishing and heading ability during first time shots or headers. That does help for scoring corners, I guess. But my heading attributes are already boosted by the set piece beacon. So I could probably take the first time shot one out and put the set piece specialist one in. Where'd it go? Is it that one? No, it's Poacher. Where is it? Is it that one? <gasps> Tess, where is it? Come on, is it that one? Increases your abilities... Players' abilities during set pieces grants you giant throwing, power driven free kicks, and set play specialist traits. Bing, we'll turn that on. Right, what do we do attribute wise to make ourselves 90 rated? Shooting wise, I could increase my hitting accuracy again, I could do my penalties, I could do volleys. My volleys are already 100, they're maxed out. I could apparently make them 104. Uh, we've actually broken the game, lads. We've broken the game. Because it's only supposed to go up to 99. Uh, just to, I'll show you actually, because I'm in the way, aren't I? Let me take the webcam off. Look, volleys are 100, and I can make my volleys 104. That's not, strictly speaking, how that's supposed to work, is it? <laughs> um, uh, I could, do I improve my weak foot? Five-star weak foot would be fantastic, but it's probably not going to affect my overall. Or I could do sprint speed. Is that going to affect my overall, though? I, I could probably do with the sprint speed. Hmm, hmm. Uh, I might discuss with chat. I might discuss with chat what I do here because I'm torn between pace, shooting, or maybe increasing some of my passing. My long passing, maybe? It's only 38. It's probably not going to do it. Maybe not long passing. Attack positioning's already 96. Skill moves I don't need. Physically, I could maybe add in some more reactions or stamina or aggression. But do I just go for straight pace? I might just go for straight pace. Chat's telling me to go for straight pace. Uh, let's go for straight pace then. Plus three. Plus three. I'm now 79 fast. That hasn't boosted my overall though. So I'm still 89 rated. For the time being. But when we sort the personality points out. And we get that to be weighted more into plus five on sprint speed and acceleration, I can then take something out of sprint speed to put it somewhere else. Because I'll be getting a plus five there. Okay. Well, we've done it on pace. Let me know in the comments section. Do you think I should maybe take one of those out of pace and put it somewhere else? Do you think I should take them both out of pace and use those four elsewhere to make myself 90 rated? Let me know in the comments. YouTube always tends to get the say on things over the Twitch comment section, or sorry, Twitch chat, but certainly Twitch has its moments where it comes in handy and has a say on what thing, what happens. But for now, let's go and play PSV, play against our former team that looks entirely different to when I was there. Although to be fair, was four years ago. And try and get a win in the Champions League for the first time this year. Objectives then. 
Three shots on target. That's a maverick one. Shot conversion rate is 60%. That's a maverick one, but we're not going to get a 60% conversion rating. So let's go for the shots on target again. See if we can get another bit of a boost in that front. Playing at home for the what feels like the first time in forever, actually. Cup game against West Brom was away. Game yesterday against Bayern was away. To be fair, the game against Watford in the league was at home, but we've had a lot of away games recently. We're at home here, and we'll be at home against Brentford next as well. So we are going to get to show our talents, showcase our talents. Oh, dearie me! In front of our adoring home fans to try and score more hat-tricks in front of them rather than only doing it on the road so far this year. A yellow card, and rightly so, for the PSV man there. Uh, I mean, he might have been red-carded there. He really might have done. Let me take this short, actually, and give it to Tomine there. Oh, I done you. You jumped for no reason. Ole. Oh, and he's giving it straight back to them. Well, that was worth nothing, wasn't it? Saibari into Daka. Ooh. You might well complain at your defenders, David. But you should have stopped that, mate. That's at the near post. That is savable, to say the least. I mean, it is terrible marking. Well, there isn't marking to be terrible, is there? It just is non-existent. Something that doesn't exist can't be good or bad. It just doesn't exist, which is the fucking issue. Anyway, PSV 1, Manchester United 0. Uh, not great, not great. We wanted to try and win the Champions League this year. At the moment, we can't even score a goal, let alone get a win or get out the groups. If we get grouped against PSV and Red Bull Salzburg, I'll be really annoyed. We're 2-0 down here, though. Devin Wrench with a great header. I am going to be really annoyed, aren't I? It's a good run. And then here's Saibar. Oh, the footwork. Deary me, that was really good. Particularly impressive, that. Go on, Andreas, keep going. Anthony's on the run. We'll look for him down the line. Just on side, I think, and indeed he was. Oh, he's beating his man as well. Sheldrup's there. Play Andreas in. Sheldrup! 2-1. I had to tell him to shoot to get him to actually pull the trigger. I feared he might pass it again. He's buried it, though. And we find ourselves back in the game at the very least. A seaman is there on the left. And I have visions of him trying to square this. And again, picked off by the defender. So I just spammed that B button. Shoot, pal! He did. He scored. Game on. Tim out to Anthony. Good touch. Good ball. Victor's in. Go on, Vicky lad. Play me back in if you like. Oh, Jesus. Only just. Ha! Huh. I nearly missed that. It's 2-2. Two, two. A goal either side of half time. This Manchester United side are goal scoring demons right now. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not the one scoring all of them either. We've got teammates. Chucking goals into the back of the net as well. Chipping in. God, I nearly missed that. 2-2. Oh, 45 and 53. Game on. Let's go and win it, please. Buckley with the throw. Anthony. Uh, rather spectacularly ensures that we keep possession. Although, <laughs> it's a bit unorthodox. Oh, that's got Paul groin written all over it. I felt my own groin twitch there. As my guy stuck his leg out. Deary me. Salamakers inside to Ledesma here. Now wide to Salamakers again. He's got the option through there to Pat Sindaku. He's going to have the pace to get in behind. And could square it. And wide, we've won it back. Really, really, really want to get a win here. Don't want to see us fail to get out of the group stage of the Champions League. And we might not fail to do so. Manchester United 3, PSV 2. We have Real madrid in it against PSV. 2-0 down and now we're in front. We might not score 5, but we've certainly turned around a two-goal deficit in the Champions League. Oh, that is a relief, let me tell you. A brace for me, one for Sheldrup, and we're in control again. Ah, Seamhen tackled. And Gisa tackled and then tackles back again. Oh, it's beautiful from Daka. Absolutely brilliant. PSV looking to find an equaliser. They don't want to lose this. What do I need match rating wise? Of course, an 8.5 and I'm still on an 8.4. The amount of times it puts you 0.1 below the match rating you actually need is infuriating. 
Nice interception. Still falls back to them. Saibari. Saved by De Gea. The PSV press continues. Get out. Good header. Get out. It's going to fall to them, isn't it? Yep. Christian Baumgartel equalises for our visitors. 2-0 up to 3-2 down. And they're back to 3-3 again. We're not going to win it back in time, I don't think. If anything, we might end up still losing it. I don't, <laughs> I'd be apoplectic if we do end up losing the game. We've won it back here. We need to get it forward, however, quickly. Anthony's run, but he's offside. I'm trying to drive in towards the goal now. Anthony's here with me. Oh, press pass. But he's just turned and not passed it. Oh, the pain is real. Well, we could have won it. It's only a... Not the time for a selfie, pal. 3-3 against PSV. Other result in our group is not actually there. Uh, well, at least I'm impressing the manager. Albeit I'm not necessarily impressing myself. Or you guys with our Champions League form so far. Uh, bottom of the group after two. Bayern and Salzburg draw. We've Salzburg twice now, though. So if we can win those back-to-back, -back, then, fingers crossed, we will still be fine in the long run. Right. Brentford at home. I've been called up again for international duty for some friendlies. Priest is out for five days. Tim's out for five days. What did that say? £1.5 billion? Pounds? I missed that. That might have been an old email from deadline day, to be fair. 1.5 billion pounds? Bloody hell. Still 39, 38, 23. I think it's going to take a hell of a lot of switching that now. Right, Brentford. Oh, God. Voice, please hold out. Brentford a third. Oh, this might be quite difficult then. Can we make it seven from seven? Uh, three shots on target, and I guess is probably going to be the one that we go for. I'm trying to get those Maverick points up. Brentford... Ordinarily, you'd like to think would be a straightforward game. But given their start to the season, up in third in the Premier League, might not be that simple. This could potentially be the first game in the Premier League this season that we don't win. I'd like to make it seven from seven. Whether we will or not, however, is a question of whether this Brentford turn up or Brentford of real life turn up. Brentford of real life aren't a bad side. But they're certainly not third in the Premier League levels, are they? Ahmed Diallo's trying his hardest here, but it's not quite going to work for him. Logan will find me. Trying to play that back. Iqbal, McTominay. I'll try and find Sheldrup here. Ask him to shoot. He will. It's blocked. Oh, it's come. is it going to fall for him again? No, it's not, unfortunately. Put Keeper under pressure. Whoa! I nearly got to that. I so nearly got to that. Oh... 11 minutes in, it's still nil-nil. Did that hit a hand? No, it didn't. They're just offside. They've run sideways, not backwards. They didn't follow my run. It's the right thing to do, because I would have been onside. Or offside, even. We're in behind now, though. We're certainly onside. Bing! Manchester United! Bing! Brentford nil. Another goal for the cheese in the Premier League. We broke the Premier League goal-scoring record last year with 35 goals. I don't know. Oh, it's not even a great finish either, is it? I don't know what our 6-7 record is so far this season in the Prem. Because I know I haven't been banging the ball into the back of the net domestically as often as I had been. But to be fair, it was in the second half of the season last year, wasn't it? Where we just turned the hell up. We scored 13 in 18, I recall. The beginning of last season. And then just had the most outrageous second half of the year. Well, we're having a pretty outrageous beginning to the year this year. Although it's not quite a goal a game ratio. It could be, though, if I'd buried that. It might be if I bury this. I haven't. Let's get rid of this, please. Don't want Brentford getting themselves... Oh, an equaliser. Great header. Top save. Brentford pushing and mean business. We've cleared that. And Sheldra will just about manage to do the same. And yellow with room to run into. He's played me in. I could be in for another hat-trick. Oh, no. I've only scored one, haven't I? 
No, it is. You've scored two. Seven in seven for the Premier League. Two against Brentford. Are we to make it? Well, I say seven in seven in the Premier League. That's goals for me. It might be seven in seven with wins for the team as well. That would be very poetic if that's how it ends up being. Top finish. Yamo inside Bistro. Outside. Oh, nicely flipped. Scott. That's a brilliant ball through to Rico Henry as well. He's not got much in the box to aim for, though. Ballet Wisher plays him in. No, it's the 1-2. And Clark. Oh, De Gea. I was convinced that was going to end up in the back of the net there. Brilliant. On Yamo's gone off. They're taking their top goal scorer off. Brentford got Arsenal next, as we have the other half of North London. Ballet Wisher down the wing for them. Lovely little back heel. Kamari, man that came off the bench for top goal scorer. Yamo. Calabria. Shoot. They're playing well, Brentford. You can see why they are where they are in the league. It's not necessarily they've been spectacular. They're on 11 points after six games. Which means they've probably won three, drawn two, and lost one, I'd imagine. Oh, giving that away. So it's not a world-class start to the season, but it's still certainly a strong one. Oh, it's a nice ball. And you can see why they've been getting results. They're having chances here, and they are dangerous. David De Gea is doing his job very nicely indeed. That hit someone's hand. Thankfully, it was one of theirs. 20 to go. Brentford are looking to get themselves back into this, and they've seen how PSV scored goals against us, so they're certainly using that as inspiration. Buckley off and Parisi on for us here, though, as we try. Make the changes defensively to hold on to the lead that we've got. Oh, Unless you're sending him off. Yep, red card. Felix Udekai is gone. Close out his lips in frustration, but... It's a red card challenge. He's come through me from behind. It's actually less of a red card challenge than some of the tackles we've had on us that have only drawn yellow cards. We might have been in a better position if they'd have just played advantage there as well and come back for the red card, but... Never mind, I'll call for this from Duarte and I'll try and bang a worldie for a third. That was bending wide, unfortunately. But with a 2-0 lead and them now down to 10 men, I think we can afford to be a little bit more adventurous when looking for a hat-trick ceiling goal, don't you? Three minutes added on. Win that header, please. Well done. Unfortunately, it's been recovered by the defender and I can't race on to it. Oh, there you go. I'm up to an 8.6. Lovely. Well, we will get our match rating then. And as such, our man manager favour will probably... Oh, well, now it's gone 8.7. Weird. Our match rating... Our manager favour, sorry, will probably max out here then. And I think we might be the manager's favourite player. Teacher's pet, so to speak. Two goals to the good again. On this occasion, I personally do score all of the goals that we get in a game. City win 3-1 though, so they're not... They're not letting up any pressure. Man of the match for me again. And yes, we are teacher's pet. Completely maxed out with our manager favour. And there's enough time left in this season. We may even get to, to level 35, you know. I'd love to. Let me guess. Poor manager performance. Oh, no, I'm reading a book. Okay. I'm reading a book. I probably shouldn't do that, to be fair. Because that didn't have any um, maverick points in it. Only heartbeat and virtuoso. Maybe I shouldn't do every activity now that we're trying to purposefully sway the personality points. I'll I'll make a make a note of that mentally and not do that again next time. We got friendly football with England next time out again. We're still leading the way. City just won't leave us behind though, will they? Two points, and if they play us and beat us, then they will go above us despite the fact that we've won every single game we've played so far this season in the league. We've Tottenham tomorrow after we've played the Czech Republic and Iceland with England. Then it'll be Salzburg, Wolves and Bristol City in the Carabao Cup. We could have another big haul as we did against West Brom then in that fixture. And then Bournemouth, Salzburg and Brighton. We don't play City for a while. Not until a very busy month of December. And then more signings in January, please. Not that at the minute, it looks like we need them domestically. In the Champions League, we are a little bit lacking. Though. That is a slight concern. But the only concern that we have at present, we're still playing very well, scoring lots of goals. I'm 7-7 seven in seven in the league. We are 7-7 seven in seven for wins as well. I top the goal-scoring charts to boot. 
Yamo hasn't scored for three games. That's probably why he got substituted off in the last game. And Wepu is 6-6. Six six. Turam, Kefren Turam, that's Kefren Turam, the centre mid, not Marcus Turam, the uh, striker slash winger for Brighton up there in third. And Marcus Rashford, formerly Manchester United man, up there in fourth level with our very own Victor Osimhen. Okay. I mean, this is why you wanted me to stay on at Manchester United, isn't it? This is why we're still here in a second season. We are challenging for that league title. The quadruple is on. If we don't win at least something this season, I will be very disappointed. I think we will, though. We're on course. I'll see you tomorrow.